In this video we are going to code an expert advisor for this indicator. It's called the variable index dynamic average. We are going to output the text for the indicator and if it is long or short. This indicator is part of MetaTrader 5 and you can get it if you click on insert indicators trend variable index dynamic average we will go with the default settings here and click on ok and whenever this moving average is below the price it will say that the variable index dynamic average is long and when it's on the other side of the price it will say that it is short now how can we create an expert advisor that is able to output the value for the indicator directly on our chart? To do that please click on the little button here or press your F4 key. And now you should see the meta editor window here and here we want to click on file, new, expert advisor from template, continue. I will call this file simple IVI DYA. Click on continue, continue and finish. And now you can remove everything that is above the on tick function. And let's also delete the two command lines here. And now we create a price array that is done by using MQL rates. And this is the name of the array. We will call it price array. And sort the array from the current candle downwards by using array set a series for the price array we have created here. And now we use copy rates to fill the array with data for three candles. Copy rates takes a few parameters. The first one is for the currently selected symbol on the chart, that's the currency pair. The second one is for the period on the chart, that could be one minute or 60 minutes or anything else. And we are going to copy the price data from the currently built candle, that's candle 0, for 3 candles and store the result in our price array. That's it for the candle data. Now we need another array for the expert advisor that is also going to be sorted from the current candle downwards by using array set a series. This time for the EA array that we have created here. And now we define the expert advisor by using the built-in IVIDYA function. It returns the handle of the variable index dynamic average indicator. And it has only one buffer because we only see one line here. And when you right click on the indicator and select properties, you see that it uses a few parameters here, a 9 and a 12 for the CMO period and the EMA period, a 0 for the shift value and it is applied to the close price. So that's parameter 5 and 6. So we use underscore symbol for the currently selected currency pair on the chart, underscore period for the period that we have selected on the chart, the 9 and the 12 for the CMO and the EMA value and a 0 and price underscore close for a shift value of 0 and the close price that is used to calculate the indicator. Ok, let's use copy buffer for the defined EA. A 0, that represents the first and only buffer of the expert advisor. The second zero stands for the current candle. The three is for the three candles we are going to copy. This is candle zero, candle one, candle two, candle three and so on. And we save it in our array called EA array. And to calculate the current value, we just have to take out the value from our expert advisor array for candle zero and store it in our variable, I call this one IVIDYA value and now we can create a chart output depending on the direction. If the current value is bigger than 
the close price for candle 1 in our price array. We consider that to be a short signal, so we use the comment function to output that it is short, followed by the calculated value. And in the other case, if the value is below the close price of candle 1 in our price array, we consider that to be a signal for a long trade. And now it will use the command function to output that the indicator is long, followed by the value of the indicator. OK, please don't forget the closing bracket here. And when you're done, you can click on the compile button here or press F7 on your keyboard. And now it says no errors, one warning. And this warning is because I used the float value here. When I change it to double and compile again, the warning is gone. Now you can click on the little button here or press F4 to go back to MetaTrader. And in MetaTrader, we click on View, Strategy Tester or press Ctrl and R to bring up the Strategy Tester here. And here you want to select the file simple ividya.ex5 and start your test. And here is your expert advisor at work. You can see because we don't use a float value, we have a very long amount of digits behind the dot here. I prefer to use float. Recompile the code. Stop the current test and start a new one. And now it looks much nicer. OK. In this little video you have learned how to code the variable index dynamic average indicator and you have done it yourself with a few lines of MQL5 code.